Hey folks, my name is Allison Earnhardt. I've been teaching science and engineering for about 14 years, and currently I manage the makerspace and teach robotics and engineering classes here at the Acera School. We are located just outside of Boston, Massachusetts, and we are a lab school. Now, what that means is that we love to partner with companies and universities to test out cutting edge technology and try out new and innovative curricular ideas. We love figuring out what works best in the world of education and then sharing it with the broader community. And we are so excited to be collaborating with Arduino on the Alvic right now. Um, I've got a fleet of these for my robotics students and we have been having so much fun with them. Um, our students love uh, you know, working with uh, the engineers and the curriculum developers at Arduino, giving them their feedback on what they like, what they think could be improved, and how our students are being inspired by uh, the materials that they have to, to do bigger and crazier things. Um, you know, we've been having a lot of fun with these uh, going through the lessons online for the, the block code. Uh, and, you know, the students have been having a ball. As you can see, um, we've challenged ourselves to uh, add a marker to, to these robots so that we can code them to drive around and create different shapes and different patterns. Um, I had a lot of fun the other day challenging my students to see if they could code the, the movement of the wheels such that they could actually draw out a spiral pattern. Um, it was quite challenging, uh, but the students were up for it. They had a lot of fun uh, figuring it out, and once they got it to work, ah, oh, it was just absolutely fantastic. Um, as an educator, I'm looking to develop certain skills, obviously, with my students. You know, uh, I want them to be creative problem solvers. I want them to have a foundational understanding of how coding works. And basically, I want them to think like engineers. And our work with the Arduino Alvic is certainly helping with that. Um, they love uh, being able to look critically at how these things are working. Uh, even when they encounter problems, you know, they're excited because they want to investigate it further. When something doesn't work the way they think it will, they stop and they go, huh, I wonder why that is. I need to look deeper into that. And that's exactly the kind of stuff that, uh, you know, that I'm trying to get them to do. So uh, it's it's been quite a journey. We've been... Um, going through the last few weeks, going through the different lessons, and then seeing what comes of it. Um, the results, the outcomes are just absolutely fantastic. The kids are eager. Uh, they love getting their hands on these things and uh, playing around with them. Uh, once they know how to do the basic coding, now it's what else can I do? What's the next step? What, you know, what are we gonna do next? You know, um, they're curious. Uh, they want to know more about how these things work, and uh, there's such a great sense of satisfaction and accomplishment uh, when they actually achieve uh, what they're setting out to do, whether it's making artwork or, you know, making planets orbit around a sun or drawing out specific geometric patterns. Um, it's been great. Um, you know, uh, these things challenge students to think creatively, uh, especially about coding. There's more than one way to code something. And I think that the lessons that Arduino uh, is giving us with the Alvic and uh, the online curriculum is that, you know, uh, there is more than one way to do it. So, so look, uh, be thorough and get creative. Uh, and, you know, by, by using all the tools that are available to you, you're able to have some really cool outcomes. So, uh, yeah, happy world Arduino day and uh, see you out there.